Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall try to find the volume of a tetrahedron using determinants. So, the volume of a tetrahedron whose vertices are given to us as follows can be found by this formula. Let me write this down here. If the vertices are x1, y1, z1, and x2, y2, z2, that is the second point. The third point is x3, y3, z3, and the fourth point is x4, y4, and z4. And if that is what we have, the volume of a tetrahedron could be found as follows. Volume is represented as V is equal to plus or minus one-sixth the determinant. So continuing this, um, the volume can be written out as equal to plus or minus one over six determinant of the, co the coordinate points given to us, which are x1, y1, z1, 1, x2, y2, z2, 1, then x3, x3, let me write it a little bit more clear, x3, y3, z3, 1, and then x4, y4, z4, 1, and then that is that is how we're going to find the find the value of the volume of a tetrahedron where the positive and negative sign is chosen to give a positive value when we will once we evaluate this the volume is always going to be a positive value and therefore if the value comes out as positive then we're going to disregard the negative sign if the value is going to come out as a negative value, then we multiply it by the negative sign so that it becomes a positive value. The, vo the volume of, a, of uh, a square or a rectangle or a, or a triangle or a tetrahedron is always going to be a positive value. So how does a tetrahedron look like? I'm going to try to draw a figure here and then illustrate that. So it could be a figure like this. If I were to... Uh, choose some points in here. I'm going to use different colors. Um, let me say there is a point here. This is one point. This is a second point. And uh, let's say this is a third point. And this is a fourth point. And if I wait to use a different color and then join these points join these points and this is how a tetrahedron would look like and if I call this one as x1 y1 z1 this if I call this one as x2 y2 z2 if I call this as x3 y3 z3 and then this one as x4, y4, and z4. If that is the tetrahedron, we, if we want to find the volume of this, we should be able to, we should be able to use the formula here, as volume is equal to plus or minus one over six, the determinant of the the coordinate points of these four points, the vertices of these four points, and then be able to figure that one out. In my next presentation we shall take a part, take an example with uh, with some numbers for these vertices and then try to find out the volume of the tetrahedron.